Hey guys, Short Stack Survival here, and today we're gonna talk about 25 items that you can buy the shooter in your life for this Christmas. So we've got a lot of items to cover today, guys. It's not gonna be a review of each individual item. I'm just gonna quickly try to go over them, and that way you guys can kind of get a heads up of what you can get the shooter in your life this Christmas. I've got an Israeli bandage and a tourniquet, and uh, you can get different types. There's different price ranges. Anytime you're around firearms, there is a possibility for needing medical supplies, and so you wanna definitely have those in your range bag. Now, to go along with that, you can also get Get these really cool camo band-aids they make great stocking stuffers I believe you can get these at the dollar store so if you've been around firearms for any length of time you know that sometimes you can get your hand caught in the slide or uh, stuff like that so you don't want to be bleeding all over the place so just having basic band-aids can be really handy and speaking of hands uh, we have some disposable hand warmers and also this really cool Zippo rechargeable hand warmer and you can also use it to recharge your phone. That's super cool. Sharpies are awesome uh, when you're at the range. You know, if you're trying to keep your target for an extended amount of time and not constantly swapping it out, you know, you can use the Sharpie to mark what you've already shot and that way you can keep track as well. So speaking of writing, uh, this is a Write in the Rain all weather pen and this complements the Write in the Rain. You can get books or note cards and this is kind of a cool little thing that I literally just picked up. It's a battle board, little armband. If you're doing long range shooting, you can put like your dope uh, measurements, that sort of thing. Uh, for when you're shooting at certain distances, you might want to know what to calibrate, if you will, your scope. And so this could be a little card that you can um, quickly reference on your hand. So in this armband, I have very important information there. Moving right along, what should we do next? Um, if they are a long range shooter, uh, I definitely would recommend <clears throat> this book here, the Long Range Shooting Handbook. It has a wealth of knowledge in there that would definitely complement anyone's range bag. You can never go wrong with ammunition and make sure you know what caliber the person typically uses. If you're not sure how to check, I do have a video on how to identify what caliber your firearm is. If you guys want to watch that, I'll put a link up there so you can click on it and watch it later. To complement ammo, I would definitely consider getting someone some more magazines. This is a typical AR magazine. You can also get just pistol magazines. You can never have too many. And uh, let's see here. So for loading magazines, I don't think you could get a better product than the Maglula Uplula loader. Just be careful where you buy these at. There tends to be a lot of Chinese knockoffs and so you want to get a genuine product. They do make them for ARs, AKs, uh, PMR30, lots of other different firearms. So these will save you a lot of time at the range and it'll also keep your thumbs from getting fatigued. And for me, uh, you may see me with a little brace on my thumb at times. I've, I just have really bad arthritis in there. So um, for me, that really helps uh, preserve my joint just a little bit longer. Chamber safety flags are a lot of times required at ranges, and so you can definitely get these ones. They're kind of neat. They have like a little spot for a keychain so you can keep them on your keys, and that way you always have one. And then this is kind of a neat product, uh, IC13, and it just goes in the ejection port on your AR, and that way nobody can utilize your firearm. Kind of a cool little gift. These are super cool goat guns. They're little baby replicas of firearms, and you can actually like swap out components like you could change out the scope and the hand guards. You know, you can even eject the little magazine. There's bullets in there. Uh, these are definitely a super cool item that you can get people. Targets, you know, uh, I definitely recommend targets. It's something that not a lot of people might think about. If you're a firearm enthusiast, you definitely can't go wrong with the bug of salt. I think I got salt all over, but it, it works really well killing flies, especially in the summertime. I definitely think most firearm enthusiasts would enjoy this. Let's see, what else do we have here? Oh, so when you're at the range, one of the biggest concerns that you might have when you're shooting is lead contamination. Not all little hand wipes 
will remove lead from your hands and so the D wipe definitely removes lead and it's safe on hands. It's not like a super sexy gift but if you love the person and you don't want them to get you know an overabundance of lead uh, you can pick them up some of these and when you're all done shooting you know you have a lot of the spent casings they get dirty and sandy and so having a little bag that has a mesh compartment on the bottom and so you can shake it and that way you're not bringing back a bunch of sand and dirt and stuff like that and it makes the process a little bit easier when you're picking it up you can clip this on your belt and then just kind of put the brass in as you go and then when you're all done you can cinch it up but that's a handy little tool it's not something that a lot of people think of but it, it works really really well <laughs> When you're trying to make really accurate shots, maybe you're trying to, you know, adjust your sights and you want to be very, you know, still and accurate, uh, you can get the Cadwell dead shot. You can use this to rest your rifle on. You can use other things like your range bag or a backpack, other impromptu items, but just having a nice dedicated bag is really handy. All right, moving right along. One thing that I absolutely love is G-Code products and this here is an ammunition holder. If you know you're going to the range, you can empty all that ammunition out and loose pack it into this uh, container. You know, some people say don't loose pack ammunition. I've never had a problem with it. I think people get a little particular on the internet, but um, you do you, boo-boo. <laughs> so. Uh, you can also, you know, you can fill it up with ammo and then you can also fit, you know, this is a Glock 17 mag and it fits right in there nicely so you can kind of store that on top. You could also put this, uh, you could put the Maglula loader in there as well, which might make a little bit more sense. They're really nice. I mean, they're high quality. I believe they're American made. Yeah, made in the USA. There's also these really cool caliber patches. You can buy two of these containers and then you can get what's called the twofer. As the name would suggest, you can fit two of these really cool ammo holders in there and it's just a perfect little bag for your ammunition. So I definitely recommend the G-Code two for bang box. These are called the bang boxes. So uh, you definitely want to check those out. There's a lot of other really cool items on G-Code's website. So you can check them out at your leisure. To complement our range bag, even if you're someone who likes to wear in the ear hearing protection, uh, sometimes certain calibers can be extremely loud, especially indoors. Um, and so sometimes you'll want to double up for extra protection. They would make an excellent gift. If you're going to be buying them, I, these are the original like ear pads. You can upgrade to these awesome gel cups. Those would make an excellent gift. And honestly, even if you know they already have earmuffs, uh, you can never have too many. Okay, what else? So when you're cleaning your firearm, having a boar snake is really handy. It's called a boar snake because it, it's a long string of fabric and you just put it through, breech to muzzle, and you pull it through and it cleans it really, really fast. Um, there's a lot of questions on how often you should clean your firearms, that sort of thing. In the state patrol, they always had us clean our firearms after every range just to make sure that they were Oh, I lost, lost the tape on there, but I definitely recommend at least throwing a boar snake through the barrel. It's kind of one of the most expensive parts of your firearm. One gift I recently received is the drill laser. And so basically you put this in your firearm and it allows you to dry fire and you'll see a laser be projected out of the bore. And it's really cool, especially with ammunition. It's very expensive nowadays, so this allows you to get some... Uh, feedback while you're dry firing. I think it would make an excellent gift for any shooter in your life and it definitely will save you time and money because you can dry fire in your bedroom. I mean guys you probably don't want to be doing that. That way you can get some real world feedback. Another little doodad I received as a gift was this Sightmark bore laser and it's really cool when you get a new scope or any sights or anything you could put this in the chamber 
and it allows you to perfectly get a laser out at distance and then you can line up your sights or dial in your scope. I think these are extremely valuable. They've saved a lot of trouble and a lot of ammunition at the range because once you put that in, you get it sighted in at your house and then once you get to the range, you know, you might dial it in, but it, you at least have a general idea that your sights are relatively aligned with the bore. So I think these are very valuable. So this is a MTM case guard and it's an ammo crate and it's really handy. I have a bunch of magazines in this one, but it's just like a little container that you can put stuff in. You can put anything in it. Obviously it's a box, but you know, if you were going to give someone a gift with, you know, with a bunch of little doodads, you could put them in there. And then, you know, just put a little bow on this sucker and put it under the, under the tree and you'd be ready to rock. And they're made in USA. As a female, I definitely like to find books that talk about badass females in history. And so here's a couple that I would recommend. Some were snipers, some were pilots in the military, that sort of thing. So I definitely would recommend these two books. Flight Girls is another one. Dana Loesch, or Lausch, I don't know how to pronounce that, but uh, she's a huge advocate of firearms, and so she's got a couple books. Uh, this one's pretty cool, Hands Off My Gun, so just makes you think about current politics as it pertains to firearms. All of these would make really good books, especially over the winter. This is a tactical stocking, and so you guys might consider that. It's a pretty cool little gift item. MTM Case Guard, I like the 430 Cal. Uh, packs here. They're really really awesome for organizing your ammunitions. Merry Christmas guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.